Hey guys, recently Alibaba released their latest text-to-image generation model called QN Image. It's not just another image generation model. It can also do a lot of graphics design-related tasks. So, let's see how we can use this model in Comfy UI. Make sure you've updated your Comfy UI to the latest version. Let's get started. The download links I'm using are in the description. Now, let's see where we can download QN Image. I'll open this link in the browser. Here we go. In here, we have two versions of QN Image, BF16 and FP8. If your computer can run the BF16 version, you should use that one. If your computer can only handle FP8, then use that. What if your computer can't run either of those models? Then you can try other quantized models, which come in the GGUF format. Let's open this link in our browser. As you can see, if you scroll down, there are a lot of GGUF models. The smallest is the Q2K. I suggest trying a few different quantized models to see which one works best for you. Later in this video, I will show you how to use GGUF models. Next, we need the text encoder, which is QN 2.5 VL7B. Let's see where we can download it. I'll open this link in the browser. Here we go. There are two versions of the QN 2.5 VL7B model, BF16 and FP8. If your computer can run the BF16 version, use that one. If not, try using the FP8 scaled version. If you can't run either of those, you can try other quantized models that come in the GGUF format. Let's see where we can find those GGUF models. I'll open this link in our browser. Here we go. As you can see, if we scroll down, there are a lot of quantized models. I suggest starting from Q2K and working your way up to Q80 to see which one works best for you. As always, use the download buttons to get the file. Next, we need the VAE file. I'll open this link in the browser. Here we go again. The file we need to download is QN Image VAE Safa Tensors. Use the download button to get it. After finishing the downloads, let's see where we need to put the files. Open the downloads folder. In here, I have two QN Image models. One is the FP8 model and the other is a Q6K model that comes in the GGUF format. Let's select both of them and cut them. Open the Comfy UI Models folder, find the folder called Diffusion Models, open it and paste the files. Then, go back to the Downloads folder. Let's select the text encoder, which is QN 2.5 VL7B. I have an FP8 version and a Q5KS version in the GGUF format. Let's select both of them, cut the files, and open the Comfy UI Models folder. Find the folder called Text Encoders, open it and paste the files. Next, go back to the Downloads folder, select and cut the VAE file. Again, open the Comfy UI Models folder, find the folder called VAE, open it, and paste the file. Finally, launch Comfy UI. In my case, I've already done it, so let's move on to the Comfy UI interface. Let's refresh Comfy UI by pressing R on the keyboard. To use QN Image, we can use a workflow provided by Comfy UI, so let's open that. Go to the workflow, click on Browse Templates, and then click on Image. Here we have QN Image text to image. Let's click on it. Now we're going to make some modifications to this workflow. In the Load Diffusion Model node, select the QN Image model you want to use. I will be using the FP8 version. In the Load Clip node, I will be using the FP8 model of QN 2.5 VL7B. If you are using BF16, then select that. For type QN Image, there's no need to change anything. If you're running into out-of-memory issues while generating, try changing the device from default to CPU. For the load VAE node, there's nothing to change. In empty SD3 latent image, we can set the resolution for the output image. Here are some extra resolutions you can use for different aspect ratios. I suggest trying different resolutions for different purposes. Right now, I will use the default square resolution. Moving on to the positive prompt, I have some text prompts I wrote using chat GPT. Let's copy them from the notepad to the positive prompt field. For the negative prompt, I will type bad quality. Here you can type anything that you don't want in your image. For model sampling or a flow, I will use a shift value of 4. I recommend experimenting with different values. In the K sampler, I will use 20 steps and a CFG value of 4.0. You can also use lower CFG values for more creativity. Overall, the settings look fine to me. Let's run the workflow and see the result. Here we go, the generation is finished. Let's open this image in a new tab. As you can see, the model did a pretty good job.
The car and the reflection on the road look really good in this image. Now, let's see how well this model renders text in images. I'll copy a prompt and paste it into the positive prompt field. Here's the thing. When you want text in images, make sure you put the text inside single or double quotes. This prompt is for a movie poster with the main title Dragon Hunter, a subtitle coming soon, and a man fighting a dragon. Now let's choose the best resolution for this movie poster. I'm going to use an aspect ratio of 2, 3, with a width of 1056 and a height of 1584. So, let's type those values into empty SD3 latent image. The width is 1056 and the height is 1584. Now, let's run the workflow and see the result. Here we go, the generation is finished. Let's open this image in a new tab. As you can see, the text looks really beautiful. It seems like I don't need a graphic design tool anymore. The bottom part is good, but it wasn't what I was expecting. We can try generating it again to see if the result changes. Overall, it's a fine looking image. Now let's try another prompt. This is an ad for a coffee bag, so let's copy and paste it into the positive prompt. This time, the text is in single quotes. Let's run the workflow and see the result. Here we go, the generation is finished. Let's open this image in a new tab. Although the image looks good, it's missing a word. In this case, we can try another generation. I also tried the same prompt with the full model from Hugging Face Space, and that generation was good. I think the full model might perform better than this one. The generation of the QN Image FP8 model on my computer is also slower. It took around 6.8 minutes to complete. This is very slow when compared to the Flux.1 Crea full model on my computer. Let's see if Sage Attention can be used to speed up the generation. And guys, if you don't have Sage Attention, I created another video about installing Sage Attention and its related nodes in Comfy UI. So don't forget to watch that. Now, let's move the model sampling aura flow node a little bit and double click to search for Patch Sage Attention KJ. Here it is. Let's click on it. Now, connect the model output of model sampling aura flow to the model input of Patch Sage Attention KJ. Then, Connect the model output of Patch Sage Attention, KJ, to the model input of K Sampler. Finally, set Sage Attention from Disabled to Auto. Let's run the workflow and see if the generation speed has improved. Here we go, the generation is finished. Let's check the terminal to see the time it took for this generation. It was 355.54 seconds, which is around 5.9 minutes. So we saved 55 seconds. Here's something you need to know. My comfy UI KJ nodes were outdated, so I performed the update and checked the generation speed again. This time, it was 212.90 seconds, which is about 3.5 minutes. When comparing with the old generation time, we just saved 3.3 minutes, and that's a real improvement. Guys, this is one of the reasons I always say to check for newer updates. Now let's move on to the next topic, using GGUF models. To use GGUF models, Make sure you have Comfy UI GGUF installed in your Comfy UI, and always make sure it is updated. Let's delete both the Load Diffusion Model node and the Load Clip node. Double click and search for Unet Loader GGUF, then click on it. In Unet Name, select the quantized version of the QN image model you are going to use. For me, it's Q6K. Then, connect the model output of Unet Loader to the model input of Model Sampling Aura Flow. To load the text encoder, Double click and search for Clip Loader GGUF. Here it is, let's click on it. In Clip Name, select the quantized version of QN 2.5 VL7B you are going to use. I will choose Q5KS. Then, change the type from Stable Diffusion to QN Image. Connect the clip output of Clip Loader GGUF to the clip inputs of the positive prompt and negative prompt nodes. You can also try Sage Attention with GGUF models to see if it boosts generation speed. Right now, guys, I'm not going to run this workflow. Try it yourself and let me know what you think about this model in the comments section. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.